talking with Carolyn. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock, and uh, nice-looking Monday. Really nice-looking Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. Good morning. Uh, Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning. Larry, Robin, how are y'all? Pretty good. How was your Mother's Day weekend? Uh, it was good. Um, you know, it was nice and rainy on Saturday. Boy, did we need that. And uh, yesterday was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Did you go I anywhere? Mom, to stay home? Just, yeah. Just took my mom out to lunch, and uh, my son took uh, his mom to a movie. It was nice. Oh, nice. Oh, black. Great. What'd they go see? Guardians of the Galaxy. Can't afford for the whole family to go. Uh, <laughs> so we just go two at a time. Oh, okay. Oh, is that okay. real? Are you telling? Is that? You, you, no, 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 it's kind of. I mean, it was forty-four bucks for two people to go to the movie. Forty-four bucks. That is expensive. Well, that's with popcorn and yeah, everything, popcorn. though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Isn't that crazy though. Forty-four that, bucks. That is crazy. Yeah. yeah, but it was a special day. Or the affordable health care. No, Robin's <laughs> Robin's making sense too, but <laughs> it was a special day. Yeah, affordable affordable <laughs> entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you need. Do you remember? Do you remember when records used to say on on the label the most your most your best buy for entertainment or something like that? I, I don't know if you remember that. Oh was. yeah, <laughs> I do. That would be on your old for uh, thirty uh, threes. If those were longer albums. Actually, radio was your best buy for entertainment. It was free. You just turned it on. It's free. <laughs> I had to buy the radio. I guess. Well, I guess you had to buy the record player. Yeah, absolutely. Still mm -hmm. is. Still, Radio is still your cheapest form of entertainment. And, and speaking of that, this is a good segue to the topic of today, which is number two, uh, re retiring <laughs> numbers, I should say. Uh, so ye uh, yesterday and Saturday, I was here, like the whole time. I was working on the... The, the, the mural. The mural for uh, the Literacy Council. And so I'm listening to the sports all weekend long, and they're talking about Derek Jeter's number being retired. And so on Facebook, when my friends from New York, I've got about three or maybe four... That they're Mets fans, but apparently they love this guy. I, I would think that they wouldn't because it's the opposing team, but not like I don't know. Everybody seems to like this guy Jeter, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, this was they were all about this. Yes, oh, yes, first of all, it's cool. in New York. All right, I think I, I think everything's bigger in New York. Um, good player, Hall of Famer, um, but he's a new he's a New York Yankee. He was for his entire career. If he paid, played for the Rays, nobody would know who he is. Um, that's that's the truth. You could argue he was um, not the best shortstop in the game for any single year of his career, uh, and and so he was never the best player at his position. Um, but he carried himself with class. Um, at least the people in New York did. He slept with people like Madonna. <laughs> and he's a Yankee. I don't, I don't know what you want me to talk about. Oh, really? I said, now, I thought you, oh, when you when you throw in the Madonna part of that, I was thinking you were going to say, no, he's true to his wife. He's a good man. He's an honest no, man. No, no, is he, no, no. He's, he's not, he's he's not single? married. I don't, think, oh. I don't think he's married yet. I mean, I know if they paraded his, his I, I don't know if they're married. I, I know it was one time it was his longtime girlfriend. She was pregnant. He, they paraded her out there on the field that long and did. You know, and the fact that New York's turning every two into a Derek Jeter Yankees two is ridiculous. Yeah, I saw that video. Um, yeah, so that was real. I wasn't sure if that wasn't York. just I mean, a... He won, I mean, yeah, he won three World Series. They haven't won anything in the last ten years, and so they got a grasp for this. So, now, now be honest. Are you are you down on him because he's a Yankee and you hate the Yankees? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. But, uh, I mean, are, I, I'm not kidding. Like, uh... And I said this about Rivera, who was the last person they retired as a closer. He was the most dominant relief pitcher in the game. And you could argue he was the most dominant pitcher in the game. And he was great. He was truly great. Derek Jeter was never the best shortstop in the game. Really? So, that, there's a, that, that's, I mean, what they call him El Capitan and all that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> well, that... Sure. If he played, honestly, if he played for the Kansas City Royals or the Dodgers, even mm -hmm. uh, he would nobody would know this guy. Honestly, nobody would care. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Peter, and he flew into the stands and caught a ball against the Red Sox and the and the ALCS cost us the uh, World <laughs> Series. 
<laughs> See, I'm having a hard time listening, trying to figure out what's coming from the Red Sox fan or what's coming from just Galen. All of it, I'm one of the same. The I commentator. Mean, he's a, he's a, yeah, yeah. Look at his numbers. Look at his numbers. He doesn't compare with the all-time great shortstop. Mm-hmm. That's that's true. He won. He won three World Series. I give him that. That's it. The team won three World Series. <laughs> Good point, Robert. Right? I I don't know. Yeah. I'm, and, and he's part of the uh, team. All, all I, this is what I know. I, I'm listening to the radio, and they're very, very complimentary of him. That these two or three, of course ho- they are. The, the two or three First hosts. Radio yeah, but That's these <laughs> these guys these guys are from Texas. They're not even in New York, so. Oh, trust me. They 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 want that New York love. And, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. And the radio. I'm serious. Has become very very soft. Oh. You know, it, it used to be where a place where you could have an honest conversation. You can't now. Everything's like, oh, you know, they're so good because you don't want to offend anybody. It's getting old. Political correctness. Oh, really? I hate it. Really? I hate yeah. It. Well, I, look, Derek Jeter's a Hall of Famer. I don't know what else you want me to tell you. I mean, well, he, well, but he was never, but he was never the greatest at his position. That's my judge of somebody getting the accolades that this guy's getting. If he if he played for Kansas City or Milwaukee, nobody would care. <laughs> nobody would care. See, I can't relate to this. I can only hear what you're saying and, and trust you. Uh, but, but the best way for me to kind of compare it to somebody is like when people say Jerry Lee Lewis was a great piano player. I will always say what. <laughs> yeah. Holy mackerel. No, I don't think so. He banged the heck out of the keys. So? <laughs> uh, but but, but I, I'm, I'm not trying to change the subject to music. I'm just trying to relate to it with other people in the field that I'm more familiar with who are held up as greats. And I don't think he really d- deserved it. So that's what you're saying about Derek Jeter, it sounds like. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, Derek Jeter didn't sleep with his knees. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that, that part's kind of tough to deal with. But, uh, yeah, that's an issue too. Yeah. I, I mean, look, let's be clear. If you're going to judge greatness by when they're the greatest at the game, he was never, he was never an MVP. Okay, he was never the MVP of the league. Um, he made a ton of All-Star games because he was a Yankee. Um, the best he ever did, he was a, a, in the top five in the MVP voting. Exactly. One time. One time. So, I, I, I'm sorry. He's just not... Uh, he's not the greatest shortstop of our generation. Not... But these, uh, the, but the videos they make... Like, the one that I saw of all of the things in New York replacing the number two with the pinstripe number two was... Right. I mean, the video was very heart-wrenching. I mean, they put this music on it. It's, it's oh. like the guy died. Gosh. It's New York. He played for 18 seasons, right? I mean, he won three World Series. I, I, I get it. He was clutching one or two at-bats, but even if you look at his playoff batting average, it's not that great. Look, I, you're not going to get me to, to to say anything bad about Derek Jeter over than he was overrated. Okay, and, okay. Because he played in New York. So, if so- he played for the Rays or the Marlins or any team other than, say, Boston or New York. If he played for the Mets, nobody would care. Nobody would care. Jimmy McCauley would care. <laughs> uh, that's right. Hey, I was going to ask you if, if Jimmy McCauley was part of the what they call, I think it's called the Seventh Line. They have this huge fan club that follows the Mets to like all their away games and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if he is. I don't, I don't know the answer, but I wouldn't be surprised. I, I have yeah. like three friends on Facebook who are all childhood friends, and they're all three yeah. big Mets fans. Every time there's a Mets game, Good. there's pictures of them in the stands, not together. I don't think they know that each other is there. <laughs> <laughs> but they always show these beautiful pictures uh, of, I mean, the green grass. It just looks so beautiful. Gorgeous. You need to ask him if he thinks Derek Jeter's overrated. Okay. I think he is. I will I ask him. I will ask him. All right. All right. So, uh, but, and also, I know you were talking about retiring numbers, and that's the new thing. Is that's you got to remember that baseball and all sports is all about money. You know how many Derek Jeter's uh, jerseys they're selling? Oh my gosh! Yes, millions, millions of dollars worth. Yeah. And so uh, that's that's what it's all about, and I know at least they let him be retired for a year. They're they're retiring David Ortiz's number. 
like this year and he just retired last year oh my gosh so, it's it, you know they're building a statue of David Ortiz and he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> we should pick somebody here and build a statue of them. We'll build That's a statue true. of you, Galen, for Life South. All the all the <laughs> donating, oh, you know, effort you've done. It, it would be boycotted. People would end up. <laughs> all right, there was one story I wanted to ask you so about. Who's buying that? Who's buying that statue? By the way, who buys that? Where do you put that? I don't know. Oh, it's got to be the tax coming down right? and they, they, I think Which statue? Which statue are you talking about? Chancellor's. The one in Chancellorsville. The one where they had the uh, torch at night protest. Somebody bought it. Oh, I oh, oh the, the Robert E. Lee statue. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's yeah, crazy. Somebody yeah. Somebody bought it. <laughs> well, they probably want to put it up on private property, and then, and then uh, nobody can say anything about it. You, you're allowed to put up statues. If, if Lincoln would have dis- would have actually offered the job to Lee, he would have been the uh, the, the commander in chief for the for the Union. Yeah, but he didn't ask. Him. Yeah, yeah, and then the war would have been over faster. So, <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Much better general than Grant. History will tell you that. So. All right, I, w- I wanted to ask you one of the uh, number changes here that I was reading about. Okay. Um, it had to do with a Florida team that they reinstated a number. What was that story? Uh, mm-hmm. Does the Florida Marlins, the Miami Marlins, is that the story? Yes. Do, do, you know right. talk, do you know what I'm talking about? Let's see. And they reinstated a number. They gave it to some. They retired it. Then they when, gave when it the to Florida. Here it is. When the Florida Marlins moved to Marlins Park. They were rebranded as the Miami Marlins, and number five, which had been retired for the team's first president, Carl Barger, or Barger, Barger, was returned to the team because player Logan Morrison requested permission to wear the number to honor his father. That's his father? No, no, no. His father was a baseball player and board number five. Oh, okay, okay. So they retired it, but put it back in there because he wanted it. Yeah, that happens occasionally. Oh, okay. So once it's retired, it's not necessarily forever. Usually, but not always. Like uh, Barry Bonds, they were going to bring back um, uh, 24, which was Willie Mays, but then uh, Barry decided to wear his father's number of 25. So there's all stuff. That, that kind of stuff happens. So the, the question I have is, the, pe- the people who wore the number before the person who's being honored, what are they just thrown under the bus that they don't count anymore? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, it, it's pretty rare. So, for example, like, you know, when they retired 42 for Jackie Robinson, anybody who was wearing 42 before that retiring, they said, you can keep your number, but then, you know, it won't be worn again. So that's why you, you saw, it's not anymore, because everybody, you know, that number's been retired for so long. Um, but you, you saw multiple you know, a 42 that was retired but still worn by a player. But, it happened. But before Derek Jeter had number two on the Yankees, wasn't th- weren't there other players who had number two? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. None of them was great as Derek Jeter, apparently. No. Oh, okay. So that they so say you're done. Your 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 history is is erased pretty much. Right. Right. So do the so now Larry said like like the owner of the team had a number. Does that mean all the owners get a baseball number too? No, they did it just because it was his number. It was like his favorite number. No. Was he a Both player? Numbers number. are important. No, people people put a lot of stock They're in numbers. They're extremely <laughs> important. They're extremely important. And, and I mean there are stories where you know guys are traded to a team or signed by a team. Um, and then there's a player that with their number on the existing team, and they have to cut a deal with that that player to get that number. Sometimes it's just like, hey, here it is. It's not that big a deal to me. But sometimes they'll pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for that number. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. All right. How how is the uh, blood supply People right have now? Been traded and cut over numbers. Just so we're, just so you know. Wow. Um, wow. We're, we're, we're okay. We have a uh, five-day blood supply, but we need platelets. That, that's where we're at right now. Our platelets use, platelet use is way up. So we just need people to you know, call 622-3544 and uh, make an appointment to uh, donate platelets. Do you need to make an appointment? Okay, you just walk in. It's preferred if you're going to make uh, if you're going to do platelets that you make an appointment just because we have a limited amount of space. So. You can watch a movie while you're giving platelets, and it won't cost you forty four dollars. And they'll even give it won't you. Won't cost you forty four dollars. They'll give you free yeah. popcorn. Free That's popcorn. right. <laughs> free popcorn for all eight free <laughs> Netflix seven ninety five a month. 
<laughs> I found that out this weekend from my daughter. That was great. I got to check it out. All right. Uh, thank you, Palm you Garden. Netflix before? What's that? You didn't like any of the movies on there. You guys have talked about your Netflix watching on here before. Yeah, yeah Ro- but this is different. This I- is Robin. This is not yeah. Larry talking. <laughs> I, I had a whole new world open up to me this weekend. <laughs> I'm investigating. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm afraid if I ever did it again, I would say, uh, there's nothing on here. I'll just keep paying the money till I give up on it. So forget it. Well, I look at it this way. If I, don't, if I don't get any Netflix or anything like that for five months, I can afford the movie. I go, I go to a yeah, movie once every five months. That's right. Me there too. you go. I think I'll get rid of my cable. That way I can afford the movie. I, like, I, I really prefer the theater. Yeah. I don't really. I mean, sitting at home, I'm probably going to fall asleep or be distracted. I got to get to. I got to do something. Mm-hmm. I got to put this on pause. I, I have an idea. I've got to work on something. Right. Exactly. But a movie theater is kind of stuck. You got to. <laughs> you got to sit there. Uh, let me let me thank uh, Palm Garden of Ocala. Thank you for what you do. Hopefully, you ha- you guys had a great Mother's Day. Gosh, I'm sure that lots of people went there uh, over the weekend to visit their moms. Um, it is really a lovely place. The people there just are so nice. Jan came in here the other day. Just oh yeah, so nice. Um, if you need any care, rehabilitative care, or long term health care, or respite care for somebody you love, um, go to Palm Garden. I'll, I'll play a commercial from them in just a little bit. They're at 2700 Southwest 34th Street. And Penn Flooring, thank you for what you do as well, uh, putting flooring in people's homes and businesses in Ocala for more than 25 years. They've put flooring in this studio and these offices. Um, five years ago or so and they're still holding up strong looking as good as as the day they were put in here and uh, so we'll uh, do that commercial in a minute first i have a phone call let me take the call good morning you're on the air thank you for the call good morning you were talking about movies and i have to say and this isn't a cheap shameless plug but i was over at the ocala uh six yesterday and I went over to see uh, the mother, uh, mother-daughter mother movie Snatched with Goldie Hawn, and it was really, really good. And um, But the movie was $7, which is nothing compared to over at the other theaters. Mm-hmm. And popcorn, for popcorn and a drink, was 5 bucks. I mean, I thought that was really, really cost- affordable, you know. Hmm. And if you go on Wednesdays, you get free popcorn over there. I'm stuck on. The I couldn't cl- believe it. <laughs> I know it's a great. It's and it's it's a nice. You know, it's an okay theater. Okay, I'm stuck on the title. They got, of the movie. It looks like they put new seats <laughs> in, like really nice, comfortable seating. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, that's a commercial for them. What what was the movie again? What was the title? Uh, it was it was called Snatch, and it's it's kind of reminding me of me and my daughter because we go to like cruises and we go on islands. Yeah. So they went to Ecuador. <laughs> they went to Ecuador and they got kidnapped. Oh. The mother and daughter. Oh. <laughs> And then they're running through the jungle. I text my daughter during the movie and says, we're not going to Ecuador. Yeah. <laughs> we're staying out of Ecuador. We're right. not going. But, uh, yeah, but I was just impressed with the theater and how affordable yeah, it was. Yeah, and, you I, know, I know, I know. Uh, my mom went the other day and it was $10.50 for her to go to the, uh, on a matinee in Orlando, you know. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Snatch. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you are bad. I mean, come on. It was a good movie. No, no. I got got the title. Just the title. That's why people are going to go see it. Ah. All right. That's why people will go see it. We'll be right back. Where's where's, where's my sound? Did did I have ransomware? It's a ransomware now. Hold on. Hold on. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Monday, sunshine and some clouds. There can be a spotty shower at the coast, the high 84 at the coast, 90 inland, then mainly clear Monday night, low 63 inland, 74 along the coast. For Tuesday, more sun than clouds, breezy in the afternoon, high 85 at the coast, 91 inland. For Wednesday, partly sunny, breezy in the afternoon. There could be a shower at the coast, the high 85 at the coast, 91 inland. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hi, I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to tune in to the first and third Thursday of the month at 11 a.m. to learn about the latest advances in health care available right here at home. Ocala Regional Medical Center and Strive have teamed up to bring the most qualified medical professionals on the air to answer your questions and bring information to help you in your decisions concerning your health. Again, that's the first and third Thursday, Health Matters. 
Hi, Jan. When you were here last week, you were so busy. Have things slowed down at Palm Garden? Oh, no. Mother's Day is on Sunday, May 14, and we are having a special brunch and a tea. Mother's Day begins the celebration of National Nursing Home Week, and during this week, we have lots of special events. For example, on Wednesday, we're going to have a great big barbecue. So let me get back to helping more guests the Palm Garden way. Palm Garden is located on the corner of Southwest 27th Avenue and 34th Street. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. Basically, studies have shown that the longer we spend sitting, the more likely we are to die in early death. How long does it take for you to decide whether or not you find them attractive? Would you believe it takes only 100 milliseconds? If you're trying to choke down a pill the size of your pinky, place the pill on your tongue, take a sip of water. Don't swallow. Bend your head forward, chin toward your chest, keeping your head down. You swallow the sip of water. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Keep up with what's going on in the downtown area with Ocala Downtown Newspaper. Delivering thousands of newspapers to businesses in the downtown area, Ocala Downtown is there to keep you informed. They even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about it. It's simple. For more info, just call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223, and pick up your copy of the Downtown Ocala Newspaper today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper online. If you or a loved one is suffering with knee, shoulder, neck or back pain, plantar fasciitis, peripheral neuropathy, and even tennis elbow, and would like to learn about how there are treatments that may benefit you, go to drwanyourdan.com, then listen in on the first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. and hear from health professionals doing these treatments and patients who have benefited from them. First and third Thursdays, 10 a.m. Next Generation MD, right here on The Source. All right, 27 minutes after 8 o'clock, Galen Unold is on the phone. Uh, earlier, we were talking about the retirement of the Derek Jeter number two, and uh, it just I, I'm still amazed by this. Uh, there was a story that um, they wanted to uh, p- bring a bu- because the $2 bill is apparently still out there, and I don't ever see them, but they're out there. Oh. And so they wanted to have uh, the sports fans getting $2 bills a- at the stadium last night. Did, mm-hmm. you, did you know this? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow, just just a bunch of two dollar bills. I got five two dollar bills. I wonder if they'd <laughs> buy them from me for like a thousand. No, bucks no, they were just going to go to the bank. Oh. I, I don't know how they were going to do it, but <laughs> everybody in the stadium was going to have a two dollar bill. Well, that means it would raise the price of admission two dollars. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they, they do giveaways all the time, and so they would have just. I mean, it would have been like seventy thousand dollars, which is nothing. How much money they're making off a of cheater? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I, I'm I, I'm a f- I'm fascinated by it. I, so it's the best word, fascinated. So uh, there you go. So what was that? Was, oh, uh, we don't have enough time for this, really. Oh. But it said something about in in the original days, the teams would always reserve one through eight for their regular starting lineup, and they would never retire those numbers. Right. Right. Well, that's because that's the positions on the on the field. Yeah, yeah. One through eight. Nine would be the pitcher, and so since you have five a p- different pitcher every day, he would just wear a different number. So, you know, uh, first base, second base, all the way around. That, that's just the way it went. First base was number one. Second base was number two. Third base was number three. That, that's how they kind of did it. Hmm. So, so before the Jumbotron... On the, the, on the numbers, that's not, that's not how it scored. But I before know. the big TV screens, uh, the only way you could probably identify any player was the number. That was the only big thing you could see. You can't really see the faces. Right? From right. The, yeah, you can, sure. From the yeah, stadium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, yes. all right. Well, yes. I got to get my eyes <laughs> fixed. <laughs> They're a lot smaller than football stadiums. Football stadiums, when you're on the upper deck, you can't. But you got to remember, stadiums have gotten bigger. You know, you look at like Fenway Park compared to a place like a brand new park, like the worst ballpark in America, which is Tropicana Field. <laughs> um, <laughs> night and day. But even there, you could still see the players' faces. Sure. Uh, all right, Gail, where's the uh, blood mobile today? Bunnerville today is at the Publix on Mary Camp Road. Mm. Oh, okay, nice. And don't forget the importance of baseball cards and all that. That's right. <laughs> That's right. The oh cards. my gosh, I got I, it was the gum in the baseball card that meant the most to me. <laughs> that was my favorite part. Now the now the okay. cards is like like you know really nice photography and everything. Yeah. Wow. Shiny. 
All right, Galen, thank you for what you do, and uh, and uh, I'll send you a photograph that Robin will take of the picture I did of, of your two sons, because the one That's I took great. is horrible. Hey, thanks, guys. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, Galen. We'll, we'll be right back. Right, Boston bye, Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. More cyber chaos today. The ransomware that hijacked some 200,000 computer systems in 150 countries starting Friday is back to some degree as the work week begins. Security officials urging care as people return to their work computers today. In Asia, where Monday is already nearly over in some places, Government saying the attack continues to spread, but the general message appears to be that the impact is being limited. Talk to Simon Owen. Government lawyers will try again today to persuade a federal appeals court to reinstate President Trump's revised travel ban against six mostly Muslim nations. Hawaii has challenged the ban. There's a new Miss USA, Kara McCullough of Washington, D.C. I'm like, what is my life changing? What, like, how, what is it turning into? I have a full-time job. What am I going to tell my supervisors? McCullough, a scientist at the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, will go on to compete in the Miss Universe competition. Fox News, we report, you decide. This is a test to find out if you know it all when it comes to children. Time starts now. Name one of the leading killers of U.S. children age 1 to 13. What's the best way to protect children in a car crash? At what age and size should a child start using a booster seat? Where can you find the answers to these questions? Car crashes are one of the leading killers of U.S. children. Many of those deaths could be prevented by making sure that kids are in the right seat for their age and size. Don't assume you know it all when it comes to car seats for your child. Go to safercar.gov slash the right seat and know for sure. That's safercar.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Howdy folks, R.L. here for Dairy Queen Silver Springs. It's a new year full of good stuff and good food. So come on down to DQ at Silver Springs and start it off right. Because we've got things for your heart's delight. Chicken strips and pepper gravy and slaw or chili dogs oh so savory. Codfish and grilled burgers too. Made to order just for you. Creamy and frosty blizzards and shakes and all kinds of flavors for goodness sake. Dairy Queen Silver Springs where we always treat you like kings and queens. Pay your taxes, eat your vegetables, watch your weight, mow the lawn, clean the house. We all have stuff we don't want to do. Isn't it about time you did something you wanted to do? Like getting your pilot's license? At Ocala Aviation, they make it fun and easy, and you can start by taking one of their discovery flights. For only $99, you get to go up in the airplane with an FAA-certified flight instructor and actually fly the plane yourself. It's a perfect way to see if flying is for you. And once you get that ultimate feeling of freedom, Ocala Aviation Aviation can train you to get your pilot's license. Ocala Aviation also offers commercial flight training for those looking to make a career change and enter the world of commercial aviation. Ocala Aviation is conveniently located at the Ocala International Airport. So if you're ready to start your adventure, stop by or give them a call today. 861-7484. That's 861-7484. You'll be glad you did. I know I am. Ocala Aviation. Call today. 861-7484. Animus Foundation is the name of the Ocala-based nonprofit sanctuary dedicated to the rescue and rehabilitation of wild and domestic animals. Animus plainly stated needs your 100% tax-deductible donation, which will go directly to animal care. This sanctuary is run solely on donations. There are so many questions to answer. Please call 843-6379 and they will explain to you how these creatures that live among us are cared for. Please call 843-6379. Thank you. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that, I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line and a new spoiler and a new yep, truck. Yep, we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too. Well, as a matter of fact, join me, Matt Gibbs, from Sunrise Auto.